Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to create a local Git server on Proxmox. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you may know Git is a very popular version control system that is used widely for software development and other collaborative projects. Okay. So in this video I'm going to show you how to set up this Git server on actually Proxmox and we'll be creating a container in order to do that okay so let's begin so the first step is as I told you to create a container so I will click on this create container here button okay here we go so here we have to set up our container so we have of course the container ID that you can change if you want and here you have to give actually hostname for your container so I will call it just git server for example then I have to set up a password for our container okay so I will confirm my password here we go so we go next and here we choose the storage where actually we put our container and of course a template so here i'll be using uh, ubuntu 20.04 as a template for our container i will go next and i will keep the default for the disk storage so 8 gigs are enough so i will go next for the cpu i will choose uh, two cores okay and for the memory i will keep with the default which is 512 megabytes okay for the network i will choose the default uh, bridge which is by default is vmpr0 okay and here you have to actually provide the ip addresses for your container so depending on your local network you will give it a static IP address so for me I'll give 192.168.1.222 for example slash 24 as actually cider address for the getaway you have to set up uh, according to your getaway so for me my router has an IP address of one that actually two and I don't have to set up actually IPv6 okay so I will go next for the DNS server I will provide here the Google DNS which is 8.8.8.8 .8 okay and finally I have summary of what all we have done so far so we can confirm that in order to create our container so here we go our container is being created and if you take a look at the side left bar you will see that the container actually has been created okay so the task is okay which means uh, our uh, container is created so let's get rid of this uh, window and let's start our git server actually so i'll click on it and i will just hit start in order to start our container so after that we have to go to the console of our container okay okay so i am now on my uh, git server so i have to provide credentials so those we have set up during the creation of our container so i will enter here my password and as you can see i am n so the first step is to update our repos okay so i will issue the command up update okay and here as you can see the repos will be updated okay so after that i can uh, just install git with the command apt install git ok 
okay so here I have to confirm so I just hit enter in order to install git Okay, the installation is done. We can verify that using the command get version in order to get what version we are using actually. Here we go. We have version 225.1. Okay. So after that, we have to create a user called get. So this new user account will be used to, ma to manage actually the get repositories. Okay. So let's add this user. So with the command add user. So as I told you, we will call it get. Simple as that. Okay. So here we have to provide a password for this get account. So I will input a password. And I have to confirm it, of course. Okay, here we have to enter uh, the details, but you don't have to do that you just hit enter in order to fulfill the process is the information correct I will hit just enter and we are done so we have created a git user in order to manage our repos okay and the second step is to create actually the repository directory okay so normally it's created under the slash user slash local directory so let's do that using the command make directory so will be created this directory inside the local there okay so and this directory will be also called get here we go the directory has been created so after that, we have to change the ownership of the directory to the get user that we just created. And this is simply done using the command change owner. Okay. And I'll provide here the get user and also the get group to actually this directory that we have just created. Slash user slash get. Okay simple as that so after that we have to switch to the get user actually using this command su minus l get so as you have seen all the steps that we have done were done using the root account so now let's switch actually to the get account here we go and you can confirm that because the prompt has changed from root to get okay and then we have to go to the directory that we have created so let's change the directory to the user get local get and inside this directory we will initialize new bare repository okay so a bare repository is a type of get repository does not contain a working tree and we will do that using the command get init dash dash bare and here you have to provide the name for your project for example my project dot get okay so this is the convention that we are using for every project that we actually create so let's do that and we get the message initialized empty get repo okay so now everything is done so the final step is actually to configure ssh access for the get user okay so in order to actually uh, Configure SSH access for the get user. It's pretty simple. So as you can see, we are now inside the user the slash local slash get directory. 
we have to switch back actually to the home directory of this git user so by default the home directory is on slash home slash git okay and then we have to actually create a dot ssh directory okay so i will create it ssh so after that we have also to change some permissions using the command change mode to actually 77700 to this directory here okay then we have to create a special file called authorized keys so inside this file actually we have to put the public key for every get user that want to connect to our server okay so first of all let's create this file with the command touch so this file must reside inside the .ssh directory and the name is actually authorized keys okay so after that we have also to give it some permissions using the same command change mode but this time we'll use 600 okay so as i told you this file is very important because inside it we have to put the public key for everyone that, wa that want actually to connect to our uh, server get server and actually do all the necessary git commands like git clone or git add or git uh, comment okay so here we go now our file has been created you can take a look at it using list command okay so you can see here that the file is created but it's empty so now let's uh, go to another server grab the public key and put it inside this authorized key in order to actually test our config okay so here i will switch to another uh, actually linux machine or linux here virtual machine okay so this is one that i'll be using So let's grab actually the public keys. So the public keys normally are inside the, the dot ssh directory. But here I, ha I am a root. So my home directory is actually uh, slash root. So let's the content. So here you can see that I have actually a file that contains my public key so in this case it's uh, id rsa.pub so let's see its content id actually dot uh, pub so this is our public key that we must actually grab and put in the authorized key of our get server it in order to allow this root account for example to connect to our git server okay and if you don't have actually this uh, file here that's public key you can create it very easily using the command actually uh, ssh keygen and here you specify some parameters like rsa for example and how many bits so you can see use 4096 actually bit so this is the command that you must input in order to generate this uh, public key here okay so now let's grab the public key so i will just cut it so I'll cut this file in order to see its content. So this is our public key. So all I have to do is to copy it. So I will just try to copy it from the shell here. 
so I will copy it and I will go to my git server in order to paste it in the authorized keys file okay so here we go I'm now on my git server so I will open the authorized key using for example the nano command so it's located on that ssh and the file is called authorized keys okay so now let's paste it here and let's save that so let's verify the content of our file so that ssh authorized keys here we go we have here as you can see the public key for the user actually that is on this uh, Linux virtual machine okay so now we can simply do all the commands that we need in order to connect to our git server and issue the git commands so let's return back to our uh, root in the other machine in order to test that okay so for example let's try to clone the project my project that git file that we have created okay so the command it's pretty easy git clone and here we have to provide the get user actually at and here we have to input the IP address of our get server so which is 182 that 168.1.222 okay then column and here we have to provide the full path to the file that contains actually uh, the project so if you remember the name is my project that get here I have to uh, actually continue connecting so I'll just hit yes and here we have the message you appear to have cloned an empty directory which is actually true but we have successfully actually cloned the git directory on the git server okay so you can see how easy it is that you can set up a, a git server on proxmox and use it for your local for example development okay so that was just a brief video to show you how to set up a local git server using proxmox as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.